Hi, thank you, uh, thank you, Zach. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, for being here. Very, uh, very happy and, and honored uh, to be presenting uh, to you today. So I'm Ben Vercher. I'm the co-founder of Treasure, and Treasure is a cash management platform which uh, help growing businesses turn their finance department from a cost center into a revenue uh, generator. So you might be wondering, how do we do that. I will share just two slides and then I will jump into a, a quick demo of our process. Uh, let me share those. So what we have here are, are the, the two products that we have um, in our treasure uh, reserve account, which is treasure cash and treasure high yield. So treasure cash is a cash product where our customer uh, put some money on the platform that, is, that has zero market risk. Uh, it is FDIC insured up to 2.5 million daily liquidity, and we pay a 0.5% uh, interest, which is much higher than uh, typically what people get here in the US uh, in the banks. And then on the other side, we have Treasure High Yield, which is composed of corporate bond mutual fund. It is SIPC insured, two business daily liquidity, and a yield of 3.5. 25. So these are like the two products at the two different extremes, and we're able to blend those to cater to any type of customer desire about on their yield generation for their idle cash. And then quick second slide about the flow of funds. So Treasure, we are set up as a RA. At no point in time, we touch the customer money. We are essentially the tech enabler to move the money from the customer to our, uh, um, to our clearing and, uh, and custodian, which is Apex. Apex is the custodian of large FinTech companies such as SoFi, M1 Finance, Stash. And then for our customer, which have a cash allocation, what Apex does is that for up to 2.5 million, Apex spread that across 10 different banks so that we are maximizing the FDIC insurance for each customer. So 10 times 250K, that's 2.5 million. And the surplus of that goes to uh, goes to Bank of, uh, of Montreal. And that is for like our, our cash product. So that is to kind of give you a quick background of like our products and, and basically our flow of funds. So I'll jump into a quick demo now. Let me pick that up. All right, so this is our landing page. Super easy for a customer uh, when they get on our landing page to sign in. And I will be basically doing a, a Figma demo because uh, it takes one day to open a bank account. So I just want to uh, save everybody's time and we'll go, we'll go through that. So the customer get to our landing page, click on get started. Uh, and then very quickly, we're able to uh, open uh, the, customer, uh, the customer account, uh, fill some quick information. Uh, we send him uh, an email, confirms that uh, in his email, and then now he can set up uh, his password. After that, that's when our, we start doing some KYC. The reason why we are doing some KYC is for two reasons. One, we are SEC uh, regulated, and it's also coming from the custodian to Apex. Need some information. So first, some quick information about the person filling in a, and applying for opening the accounts. Secondly, some uh, quick secondary question, uh, again, asked by our custodian. And then after that, asking if the person is publicly exposed. And then now the customer can fill some information about um, their business. A Little bit more information that we start collecting to know a little bit more about uh, each businesses, what they are doing. Um, the customer can then select what is his uh, allocation in terms of like, putting like this money in either in treasure cash or with our high yield product. Um, then uh, we ask if it's uh, the owner of a company. Um, also, we need to have an officer. We check that for each application, uh, we have one owner and one officer. Um, and now we are ready to uh, wrap up the, uh, the sign up, agreeing on our customer uh, agreement. And now basically what we have done, what we've done is we send all the information that we have collected to a third party vendor, which does the KYC on our side. Third party uh, KYC vendor 
send us back the information that we send to the custodian. The custodian on their side, check our KYC information, do some more KYC, and now they are uh, in the process of, of opening uh, an account for the customer. Uh, usually now with the process that, the, that we have put in place before it was taking up to two weeks, now we're able to open an account within 24 hours. So that's what's happening in the background, but now the customer is on the app. What we're able to do uh, in enabling the customer is to connect some bank account to our platform. We do that uh, via Plaid, so it's super easy. I think pretty like all of you know what is the, uh, the flow for that. And then after those accounts, like select to like which account the customer wants to connect to, uh, to the platform. And now uh, we are able to host all of the, the customer like business account into one place. For this case, like the customer has uh, the business has some Silicon Valley Bank, some Chase. Very quickly, we're able to provide some information about where is that cash sitting between those different banks. We're also able to identify uh, with our AI engine, how much idle cash is sitting within each bank account. And the way we do that, we basically um, look at historical pattern of transaction within each account, forecast the 30 days spent within each account, look at the difference between our, our 30 day forecast spend compared to what's sitting in the bank account. And then uh, that is identified as, uh, as idle cash. Um, then in the background, as I was mentioning, uh, or, cust or custodian open uh, an account on their side, so Apex, we send an email when that is done, usually typically within 24 hours. The customer now can go back on the platform and move money from his bank account to his treasure reserve account, which is the account we have open with our uh, custodian. It's super easy to do that. Uh, we do that with ACH for up to a uh, half million dollar. Uh, the customer select how much money they want to move in, which bank accounts. Uh, and we do like a quick MFA for security reason. Uh, one more time, getting that information done. And now the deposit is done. The customer has moved money from its bank account into its treasure uh, reserve accounts. Uh, we send an email to confirm that is being processed. And now um, all of a sudden, the, uh, the customer has like uh, $40,000 in this case in his treasure reserve account, which is spread between an allocation to 30,000 into treasure cash, $10,000 into securities for like a blended yield of 1.875. Um, we also provide some information about um, into the securities sitting in, the, is, in his high yield accounts. Um, all those tickers are tickers from mutual fund, which refer to a a morning, a morning star page where the customer can have even more information about what is holding and how, he, how, is, how that yield is being uh, generated. Um, we also accept deposit for more than, uh, than half, uh, half a million dollars. For that, we use uh, wires um, for security uh, reason. Um, and, and then so super easy to move money from the from our platform back to the customer bank account that happen uh, in the in the app it takes just uh, just one day um, to get the money back for the customers who provide a lot of like liquidity um, and it's super easy to manage on their side and then finally what we also do next to our next to being able to generate a yield on the customer idle cash is also given we the customer has all these business bank account connected to a platform, we're able to provide some insight about uh, cash flow trends, historical and forecasted, uh, inflows and outflows uh, for each month, intra months, and also a recap of all these transactions, as well as at the top, some meaningful information um, for the CFO to be able to monitor their finance uh, in real time. So very much acting as a cash command center for the CFO and at the same time being able to provide them a much better yield that they are getting uh, with, their, with their bank account. So that's in a nutshell what we are, uh, what we are doing.